Well, it's one plot they're allowed to follow. Yep, detainees at Guantanamo Bay are big fans of the Fresh Prince. Yes. The Miami Herald reports that the 1990s comedy is the most requested item from the detention center's book and video library, replacing Harry Potter as the entertainment of choice. Sexy. And cooperative captives can watch the show basically any time in their medium security lockups. Commanders say activities like TVs and books and outdoor soccer are necessary to keep inmates distracted and calm. You want to know what keeps me distracted and calm? Kangaroo tag. <laughs> You know, I, I said this before, Bill, and I'll say it again. Ever since Obama came out in favor of gay marriage, stuff like this is happening. But you're anti and I'm pro. That was awesome. No, no, no. I am pro, but I'm anti that. I enjoyed A lemur playing with a kangaroo. This is what happens after gay marriage. I enjoyed Sherrod's color commentary on it. He was mumbling under his breath, something wrong with kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting weirded out. How do you want me an animal to come with a pocket? This, like, this is ridiculous. It's, it's a smart animal. It's ridiculous. It's a smart animal. But Sherrod, yes. we're getting off topic. Okay. Fresh prints. Yes. Why? I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. It just proves what I already knew. <clears throat> that you can really hate America and still love Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. It's true. You can hate America. You'd be like, we're going to bomb that place. Is Will Smith there? <laughs> we'll do it next Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> People love Will Smith, man. Can, it's and fun. Kevin, can the Fresh Prince make them love us? Well, actually, I think as more American popular cultures we can expose these people to, the better. Even trash pop culture like yes. you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Because how, how good does life look in that show compared to Kandahar? Yeah. Or, you know, Northwestern Pakistan or something like that. You know, they used to joke that it was Dallas, the old TV soap, yeah. that was responsible for ending the Cold War because people would smug it into the Soviet Union. And they'd be like, damn, Americans live well. Yeah. You know, we want that sort of thing. So. They'd probably watch Fresh Prince, though, and go, black person? Oh, this is a fantasy. But here's they the could thing. never be that. Never. That's why I know you never watched Fresh Prince, because at the beginning, he tells the whole story. West Philadelphia. I, born I, so he already <laughs> tells the transition from being broke to being rich, and everybody want to dream like that. Everybody want a rich Uncle Phil to come get him out the ghetto. Do you, you want to finish, do you finish up that verse? I can't finish. West I, Philadelphia, I know, okay. born and raised. I'm going to go down and spend most of my days. days. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing, all cool, and I'll shoot some b-ball outside of the school. Do keep going? Yes. Keep going. A couple of guys. I'm up to no good. Started Thought making trouble in my neighborhood. neighborhood. I got in one little fight. Uh -huh. My mama got scared. She said, you're moving with, with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I went biggie. for a cab and when it came near, Show the her place singing. Place, there was a I dice in the mirror. mirror. If anything, I would say that this cab was rabbit. I thought, now nah, forget it. Your home's the Bel Air. Uh. I've never I had turned pulled up. up to the house of Ralph Stephen or Ray Dayel to the cab. Your home's the Bel Air. Looked in my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Go, 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 go. Go. Now, if the oh, Gitmo so detainees dope. saw that, their heads would explode. That was dope. I am now so sorry I asked that question. Yes. <laughs> now we're you know so what? happy. Now Muslims love this show. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll Doesn't be right everybody back. everybody know all the words to that? That was pretty impressive. <laughs> that was I just crazy. don't understand why our cameraman was only showing you and not you. You're... It was going back and forth, right? Oh. It was a duet. Was... I was blacking it up, though. I was going really <laughs> I did some of these. I threw some of these out there. <laughs> oh, is that, is that the new move? That's the old that move. Was the kids no now it's I'm no, not even sure if, it's, uh, if there's any point to asking any questions for this segment. Is there? Yeah, yes. ask some questions. Knock them out. Like, what happened to DJ Jazzy Jeff? That's very good. That's a, <laughs> he could be in Gitmo. He is in Gitmo. Wait. That's why it's so popular. Thank you. Wait, but here's what I don't get about this story. I thought Gitmo is supposed to be a really scary place where the U.S. goes all Jack Bauer on you if you don't yeah. give up your deepest, darkest secrets. And they're reading Harry Potter books and watching the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. Yes. Are they getting tucked in at night, too? Because I'm a little bit confused. They've, we've taught them to torture themselves. <laughs> It's an amazing thing. Forget about water. We're down there handing out Capri Suns to terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst. And, but, you know, I, I wonder what the Taliban shows their prisoners. Uh, that's a, and, and I wonder if their prisoners enjoy it. I doubt Probably it. Not, not no. the way we, not the way they do. It's a re network. We turned Gitmo into a re-education camp. Yeah. We, were, we were replacing their jihadist belief with an addiction to pop culture. Well, we show them that, and they show their prisoners how to play goathead soccer. Yeah. It's the exact opposite. Yes. Not a bad game, though. Goathead soccer's not bad. Pretty good game. I like the Olympics. Olympics. What? Is that in the Olympics? It, it should be. be. Yes. I don't know. Well, this filtered out. <laughs> <laughs> and test <laughs> pattern. All right. I think we're going to take a break now. If you have a comment on the show, email us. It's redeyefoxnews.com. And leave a voicemail on my direct line, 212-462-5050.